Is that a choice? <laughs> you can in the third four. So, big breakout. Oh, Avalanche losing one. Looks like... Losing uh, two, actually. Two, okay. And it looks like the ref is all over the X-Factor player in the corner, but calling him clean. So, X-Factor is seven on five. It's a big advantage, but, you know, we've seen games swing. Uh, you know, doubling up this Rockstar can seems to be the... Uh, the cool move now. Not yeah. so much on Saturday, but uh, today oh, everybody's right. doing it. Is that Danny Tiljack walking into the dead box? It is. Yeah, it is. Archie Montemayor makes a big move up to the Mega Spike. Also, X Factor getting up to that 50 Dorito. Yes. Yeah, so and they're also at the 50 in the car wash there. So they're. Uh, they're actually seven on three at the moment. And across the field into uh, Avalanche's car wash. So. So, Avalanche, the only players remaining are Frank Connell in the Rockstar can, Brandon Mayo in the Temple. And uh, possibly Andy Horvath in the uh, snake corner. But only three bodies alive. X Factor yet to drop a body. <laughs> Seven on three is a, it's, it's a tough nut to crack. But you know, I mean, at this point, if, if Avalanche can just sit in there and grind the time down, that's, uh, that's a victory for them. X Factor getting up to one of those twin towers on Avalanche's side of the field, eliminating yeah. wow. two more players. Just one guy left. He, no, no guy is left for X Factor. That's Ryan Cohen running through. Seven alive. It looks that way. Seven up. Not a bad way to, uh, to start, start the finals. First and second, yeah. Well, we'll wow. see. Avalanche drop the. Like, we'll see if it is the kiss of death. We will see. Wow. If uh, Avalanche comes back and wins the next two, then uh, dropping that first one's the way to roll. Incredible. What a day of paintball. Look at those grandstands, Eric. Packed. They are. Packed. Standing room only. Standing room only. Well, I never. We're just.